everybody, welcome back to my channel. Salut les amis, bienvenue et bonjour sur ma chaîne. Hola, bienvenue dans la ami canal. Konnichiwa, watashi no channel ni yokoso. How are you doing fine? It's another day, another week, another video of me. We talking about my office setup and pretty much what I have and how I got to set up my YouTube space or video recording podcast working from home slash <laughs> this point when I get to be at home and working with my clients working on my videos recording recording podcasts too because I started doing that as well well I need to have a space living in Canada Montreal and I have a one bedroom I had to set up a space for it in my living room I'm lucky enough that my apartment is not that small but it's not the biggest either so i had to be strategic about it the first thing i would say when it comes to set up your youtube space or the recording where you know you're gonna film the more is to always always prioritize lights natural light you need to think about the direction of the light Any being at peace <laughs> working from home so anything close to a window is always always good as you can see here i'm not necessarily the closest to the window but i put the desktop in a way where the light comes to me whenever I record and I just love the fact that I could be working and I could see the light see whatever is going on outside because at some point if you get to work like for hours and hours and hours you need to feel like you are still a human being you're not a monster you're not somebody like looking and living in a basement right and winter especially in Canada It's the worst so the most light you can get the most light you want to take advantage of in natural light especially for filming is the best i will always always say it of course now i have a ring light all the things that i'm going to be talking about the equipment the thing that i'm using in my everyday life to be more productive than anything they're going to be laying down it it's okay it comes to your face and really create that soft look to your face so the artificial light can be really really harsh on you the second thing when you want to record or when you want to set up the space is like you need to look for a corner of your room when you want to look for depth which is really appealing for the eyes and not getting people watching your videos to get bored fast you want to create that depth of field being on the corner especially when you get to decorate like that you create that perspective it's like drawing and I used to draw a lot. I'm still drawing. I love it. And we always had that tendency to create a perspective. I don't know how to call it in English, but I'm going to call it a perspective here. Just enough to create that line. Create the line that would give some movement or gives an, Im an impression or illusion of movement. You want to create that depth of feel. And even if you need to create it because you don't have the appropriate lens for it, search for that corner in your living room or any place you want to set up the space because it's going to create it for you and it creates something a lot more interesting to the eyes and appealing to the eyes this is where you start setting up the light sources the light source that you see in the back is to actually separate myself from the back you know so it creates even more of that separation on top of having my decoration doing it for me already so you don't need to pay for a lot more you just need to be strategic for your space in your space and the more you're gonna be a little bit further from the world the better it's gonna be for you my living room is pretty big right but i can't go too much further from the world so i have the lens that creates that blurry effect but the further you get from the wall the better it is for you to create a depth of field as you can see here i have all my art wall that's how i call it and my coaching program into like getting more content on videos i actually have a training and class into how to set up your space for that and how to create your own vibe create your own branding and any type of pinterest look or inspiration that you can get it's a part of my past stylist <laughs> moment you know you can find that for any budget. You just need to be creative first. Speak of a brown neutral, but it's illustrations. I can see and watch a lot of videos, especially when you get to have those educational videos where you have a lot of like inspiration codes going from everywhere and everywhere. And I like it a bit, but I'm not a big fan of it, you know, because I'm gonna provide the education and the value if you're watching my videos, but 
I want to focus on the feeling you're gonna get from watching my videos and it's a part of my identity too to create those illustrations because I'm drawing a lot so I didn't do that I got them on Amazon but it's just a reminder of my artistic creative side here but I have another one of oh, this picture it reminds me of the Japanese anime right with the eyes and I really have that focus on eyes for some reason when I get to draw the illustration the manga Japanese anime probably me watching too much of that and just liking that thread a lot eyes for me the area let me know what you feel from that painting illustration the light that i'm having here is from amazon as well and i was looking for something really retro right in golden really light and getting into the neutral and white keeps it a little bit more light and just brighten the room even more as well so being visual is really important for me so when i get to write anything that i might think about if i talk to a client let's say and I'm having a couple of things that we're talking about and I just need to take notes quick. I can just write here on the board and have it erased at some point if I don't need it anymore. So that's why I decided to go with it. It's something that you don't have to get, but it's something that I would recommend you to get if you are somebody that needs like take notes or just explain things because if you need to do, let's say, live interviews or just live training classes, for example, this is perfect and amazing to actually just visually explain to people what is the strategy whatever you're talking about right so i find it really being super 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 useful for me The first thing that I want to show here is this amazing tripod like fonts and it's amazing because I've got an iPhone 12 Pro Max so it's pretty big and this one is just perfect for it. What I love the most about that is the remote and I use it mostly for anything that I need to put on Instagram or if I need to record reels or if I need to let's say have the behind the scene of what am I doing when I record my video. And if you have a camera, a professional camera like me, and you have your phone, you can even use that as a second camera to change the angles and to not get your viewers to get bored if they get to see the same angle all the time, right? I don't use it for me, but I know it's pretty useful. Same thing that you can be using for, let's say, even recording your on YouTube video if you just have your phone, right? And the way it just like get to be so small, I can, I can carry it everywhere is just amazing and when you do that you are set you don't need to do more you don't need to do less you can carry it everywhere in your bag in your trips anywhere you want everything that i'm mentioning if i'm not saying anything is because i got them from amazon and i'm gonna have the link below so no worries about the table i got was from amazon obviously that you have a little bike on the side where i can put a lot of little stuff that i don't want on the table whatsoever and that helps me for all those big documents and things that i just don't have a space anywhere else to put. next to it you have my pink mat that way i put everything and you can see how it's a little bit bigger on the table i was looking for a mouse pad right and i thought it would be just more or just better for me to get a larger mat so that I can put anything else. And when I get to write on it, it actually feels a lot better than if I was writing on the paper right on the table. I can roll it up and there's a little buckle that I have so I can put it in my bag, my camera bag, or if I need to work somewhere else or if I'm traveling, it's still really useful for me to actually use it anywhere I'm going. So. That's a really, really nice touch. And I love the color, obviously. The next thing I have is another portable kind of tripod that I have on my table. I shot it in one of my videos and it's a really nice one because if you get to connect it, when it's turned on, actually track you wherever you go. So filming something and moving the phone around, you just have to have something like that that just tracks your movement and just follow your movement, whatever you do. So I find it being super, super, super helpful, especially if you're a solo team and you have nobody to help you with it and it's you and you only to record and film everything. this little laptop stand because the more you get to work on your computer the more the eyes need to be 
almost at the same level of the screen and if you need to bend all the time you're gonna have issues with your back a lot so having a laptop stand for me is the must set it up depending of the height depending how high you want your laptop to be and whatever you're doing that you need your laptop for and then it comes with a pouch so you can again carry it everywhere let's get to this beautiful beautiful microphone i got it on amazon so i was looking for something similar to the blue yeti but not that price you know and luckily enough i'm literally watching a youtuber and she was talking about this microphone which is a little bit smaller than the blue yeti but amazingly good like the sound the sound is ugh, to die for and maybe you're gonna well you're not not maybe if you're watching the video this is the one that i've been using so I have another mic on my camera and it's a mouse cat, <laughs> you know, the mouse cat. And I'm using it from time to time, but I wanted to check, check out this one and see how it actually, it was working with me. You can use it for your coaching calls. You can use it for the training that you may have online. You can use it for let's say anything related to video recording on your laptop. The model is the Rode NT USB mini versatile USB microphone. Link is gonna be down below and it's from Rode. Rode, ugh, loving the brand. So they haven't disappointed me with this one either. So I'm so, so happy that I got to have that. It's pretty mini compared to the Blue Yeti, but like I said, powerful enough to start recording, start using it for podcasts, for videos, or anything else that you see yourself doing a lot more after. I got a stand for it because I just wanted to have the possibility to put it away when I don't need to use it and to actually put it up just like I'm doing right now and not have to sit down all the time to use it or have to hold it i'm a lazy person when it comes to that and i don't want to have to hold on any microphone whatsoever because when i'm talking i just want to express myself <laughs> speaking english is not my first language guys so when i get to speak it and really be focused on it i don't need to have something that i hold because i'm gonna think about it and then i'm gonna stress about it and then i'm gonna feel overwhelmed and all those stuff you know no not necessarily like that but it's just annoying for me I'm for a lot more energy instead of always being like sitting down to record your videos sometimes you might just switch you know and i love that flexibility that i have At the end of the day when i don't need it anymore i just put it away or just put all the cables away and it just get my table to be a little bit more like organized even if it doesn't seem that way right now because i have cables everywhere but doesn't matter i'm recording right so next thing was my journaling method and anything that i use to actually take notes and remember every day what i need to do and this is the you've got this i got that on amazon and it's a daily from note report if that makes sense and i love it because it's something that's useful today and then you throw it away you can have a journal i have journal too like where i have like longer thoughts but this is for the daily task every day that you start you want to be able to know at least what you need to be working on no matter where you are no matter what you do no matter how your schedule is you need to be able to at least have an idea of what you need to be doing and this one is just great great for that uh today i'm grateful for this is the first line and then you have the top three priorities must get that today and then you go down to do list appointments and then you have the water intake and health fitness so everything here to be able to report it and see the track of it or see at least the day how it is for you this is a journal that i get to use a little bit more because i get to deeper thoughts or planning so little things i need to add to my life or in my business so you know anything regarding the business in general and my mindset to the other journal goals it's used mostly for my thought much more specific to see more of the tracking of my thoughts versus what i use for the other journal which is a little bit more of the strategy uh, on top of that you can see i have another calendar here another reports paper you've got this week is the weekly planner if you don't see visually what you need to do throughout the week sometimes you're just losing it this summer i've been so busy like it was crazy how busy i was because i was working on a lot of video projects and sometimes i would just book client 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 and sometimes i was forgetting like the days where i had to like just give back the work and 
working on my video editing and working on projects on top of having coaching clients and working too it was a little bit crazy i just put it that way the other planner which is a little bit bigger is a monthly planner this is the one that i use but not all the time but which is still very useful so again like i said you don't have to get the whole thing you don't have to get the daily the weekly the monthly if you want to solve it something solve with the daily because the actions that you take day by day at least are the actions that you can think about the most so if you don't have a lot of crazy things happening at the same time get the daily first and see how it works for you i think it's pretty much it because the rest is my computer unboxing on that and probably gonna be going back to a couple of products that i added and when i work to even record my videos there's gonna be other videos for that but today was mostly what i do and how i got to set up my space for recording videos for recording podcast episode and how to actually build that vibe doesn't have to be all of that let me know what you thought about it because i'm pretty pretty excited for it i'm pretty pretty happy for it i have my coaching program dedicated to anybody looking to be more confident on video and i'm looking to work with five amazing people so if you want to be a part of it just dm me or just send me something down below i have the link for a free 30 minutes call just to see how's your journey been up until now no pressure into buying anything here. It's definitely mostly to get to know you better. On that note, I think I'm going to see you on the next episode, next video, next week. And until then, keep smiling and shining because it's free and contagious in a good way.